So let us take our second question now. So second question is calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a solution containing twenty percent ethylene glycol by mass. So what we need to calculate now in this particular question is the mole fraction and it is for ethylene glycol and the solution contains 20% of ethylene glycol. Now again what we have learned in our previous video is what is mole fraction. Okay. Now over here if I try to first write down our working formula that is mole fraction of ethylene glycol ethylene glycol if I write it as chi E which will be equal to nothing but number of moles of ethylene glycol by number of moles of ethylene glycol plus number of moles of water in the question I have mentioned, I forgot to mention that, calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in a aqueous solution. Okay, that is the correct question. Aqueous solution containing 20% of ethylene glycol by mass. So, we have two components in this particular question. One is ethylene glycol and another one is water. And you want to find out the mole fraction of ethylene glycol. And the expression of mole fraction for any component is always the number of moles of that component by the total number of moles. NE stands for number of moles of ethylene glycol and NW stands for number of moles of water. So what we need to find is basically the number of moles of ethylene glycol and number of moles of water. Now, how to go for it? So for that, what do we do is to interpret the given things. So 20% ethylene glycol means 20 gram of ethylene glycol in 80 gram of water right then, once we have the mass of the solute and the solvent, now finding out number of moles is not a difficulty. So, how do we do it? Number of moles of ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol, that is Ne, is, I hope everyone knows how to get the number of moles from a given mass, it is nothing but the given mass by the molecular mass. So the given mass is nothing but 20 grams. Now the question is, what is the molecular mass of ethylene glycol? So there were your basic concept of formula, the name of the formulas, what are the different chemical compounds is very very important. Okay, So there were your basic concepts in chemistry plays a very very important role in solving such problems. So when we say ethylene glycol, ethylene glycol is nothing but CH2OH and CH2OH. The, the IUPAC name of ethylene glycol is nothing but ethane 1,2-diol. It's a diol system. Now, if we try to find out the molecular mass, if you don't know, there are two carbons, so 2 into 12, that is the atomic mass of carbon, plus if you see a total of 6 hydrogen are there, so 6 into 1, 
plus a total of two oxygen, so two into sixteen, that is the atomic mass of oxygen. So if I do that, then it will be twenty-four plus six plus thirty-two, which will give me sixty-two. That will be sixty-two gram per mole. So once I know that, I can easily substitute sixty gram per mole over here. Which will easily give me the required number of moles. Once I get that required number of moles, which you can easily calculate. Now, the another thing which you need to calculate is number of moles of water. That is the another component. How to do that? N W. What is the mass of water? A T grams bar. What is the molar mass of water? I hope everyone knows that is 18 gram per mole. So you can easily get N W. Also. So once you get N E and N W, you can easily substitute in this particular equation. Hence, that is your answer. So that is how easily you can find out the mole fraction of ethylene glycol. Let us say I'll just add a question in this particular question itself. Let's say in exam if they have asked you. How to find out the number of moles of water also in this case? Let's say if the question is find out the mole fraction of ethylene glycol as well as water. So what you do? You don't have to do all these things back again. Once you get the number of moles of ethylene glycol as we calculate in this manner, then the simple job to do is chi E plus chi W is equal to one. Always remember that a very important point for mole fraction, which I have mentioned in my previous videos also, that whenever you have two components, three components, or ten component solution, and if you take out the total mole fraction of the system, if you try to calculate the total mole fraction, it will always be equal to one. So if you know chi E from this, then you don't have to calculate chi W in the very same way, just for the value of chi E. What you get is nothing but chi W will be one minus chi E. So get the value of chi E. Substitute here. That will be your chi W. I hope you can finish this particular uh, calculation and get your answer. That is how we solve problem based on mole fraction.